Today we're making viral Mexican recipes. So delicious. I've never massaged a corn like this before. Mm. Oh yeah. Art. Pizza. It's tacos, Lila. Whoa. Whoa. Don't forget to thumb this video. When life gives you avocados, what do you do? You make guacamole. Creamy and delicious guacamole is one of the best Mexican staples and for good reason. It's easy to make, goes with everything, and it's so good. The best guacamole starts with simple ingredients, avocados, tomatoes, jalapeño, cilantro, onions, lime juice, and salt. There are some variations that include adding garlic or spices like cumin or completely leaving out the tomatoes, but this is the foundation of guacamole. Your favorite TikTok chef duo, we are back. I feel like we kind of put F into our appearance today, look. Yeah. Right? Why are we looking right? kind of kind of cute today? Special episode. Let's start on this holy guacamole. I've got my lovely avocados here. I actually don't know if they're lovely until we cut into them. I'm not gonna lie, this one feels very, very soft. Please, avocado gods, smile upon us today. Are you guys ready? Ooh, it's not bad. I just didn't realize the, the seed would be so sticky. Like, look at all that flesh. Let's see if your sister is any better. Ooh, Ooh okay. That one was nicer, but then there is some browning, but it's okay, we can work with that. Ooh. <laughs> Don't kill me guys, but I couldn't find jalapenos anywhere in Singapore. I just got these green chilies instead. So I'm gonna add those in. Diced tomatoes, a handful of diced onions. In goes cilantro. I feel so fancy when I say cilantro. 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 Salt and lime. Come on. Because I've got these new claws. An excuse to show you guys my nails. Oh, is that a coriander on the end? And then we're gonna mix it up. It's actually so easy to make guacamole. I don't know why, like, old me would just buy store bought ones. Because I'm lazy. She did mention that some people add spices like garlic and cumin. We are garlic fiends, so let's see some garlic powder. Garlic powder, everything. Mm. It's so good. Wow, look at that. It belongs in a food magazine. Guys, this looks so delicious. Everyone grab a chip and dip. Okay, dip, 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 cheers. Cheers. Mm, mm. I love it. It's so good. I can't really taste the garlic. I want to put a little bit more garlic. Let's try it again after that little tweak. Mm. Mm -hmm. What is this, guys? I don't know, we're all doing it, but that's how we're expressing how good this dish is. It's chef's kiss. So easy to make, you just gotta prep the ingredients, mix it all together, grab some chips, and you're good. It's definitely a double thumbs up. You know food is good when you wanna dance after you have a bite. Mm -mm. This Mexican-inspired salad looks so good. This is a delicious Mexican-inspired salad with charred sweet corn. Start by lightly rubbing your corn with olive oil and salt and char on a griddle pan or barbecue. Slice red onion, add salt, a splash of vinegar, and scrunch it for a quick pickle. Now for the saucy dressing. Add plant-based creme fraiche, mayonnaise, salt, hot smoked paprika, black pepper, lime juice, and olive oil, and mix until you have a creamy sauce. Finely chop the spring onions, including the green tops, and add to the mixing bowl. Once the corn is golden and charred, add the kernels to the bowl. Add the pickled strips of red onion, chopped coriander, including the stems, a few mint leaves finely sliced, and some finely chopped jalapenos. Give it all a really good mix, check the seasoning, and voila! Top with an extra pinch of smoked paprika. I have my corn ready to be char grilled. But first, we need to rub it with some olive oil and salt. I've never massaged a corn like this before. I don't have a barbecue, so I'm just gonna use a pan and grill them on that. Is it even called grilling if I put it on a pan? Bear with me, we're just gonna make it cooked. Make it cooked, we're just gonna cook it. The corn is gonna take a while, so let's make the pickled red onion. We just need salt and white wine vinegar. She uses her hands, it's gonna get stuck in my nails. I'm gonna use a, a spoon. Oh my god, are we making popcorn? It's popping. Oh, the corn is getting some color. Let's make the dressing. She used plant-based creme fraiche. I couldn't find that, so I just found 
kind of fresh. <laughs> Is it's the like, corn dancing? The corn is like... Dude, these three are having a disco party in our pan. Look, they're like totally dancing. I'm not, I'm not even touching it. I'm like, what is happening? It's a party. And Mexican food is so fun. I think the corn's wanting to have a dance off. <laughs> <laughs> our corn wants to dance battle us. <laughs> I think we lost. I'm going to put a generous dollop of the creme fraiche. Right. Suddenly it doesn't look that generous. I'm gonna squirt on some mayonnaise, salt, hot smoked paprika, pepper, lime juice. Thank God this is seedless lime. A little bit of olive oil. And then we're gonna give this a mix. I think I need more creme fraiche. Hers look more creamy. Oh, it's, it's got a zing. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, it nearly popped over my armpit. I almost lost my armpit. Oh, this corn's scary. <laughs> It was happy just now dancing, but now it's angry. Now, our corn's getting angry. It's formed a gang and it's like trying to fight us. 3v2, it's not a, it's not a good it's fight. It's not even fair. How beautifully charred is our corn? Oh no, it's just falling everywhere. No! Use my body to shield it. Say hello, everyone. Look at mommy's sauce. Oh, I'm gonna one hand this, you know? Okay, add in some spring onions. More is more. What color is this corn, Lila? Yellow. It's yellow. In goes the corn. That's a lot of corn. Hold on, yes. You want more corn, Lila? Yeah. And then on top, I'm gonna add the pickled onions. What color is this? Purple. Purple, yes. Pink. Yes, chopped coriander goes on top. More, say more. More. <laughs> And then mint and jalapenos. I got the pickled ones. Go, Lila. Mix it. Go. Yeah. Mixing, 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 mix. Corn. 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 Hot. Hot? It's not hot. Thank you. Bye bye. What's that? Toes. <laughs> She's looking at Zen's toes. She's like, what's that? Toes. Are you putting garlic powder? Oh, it actually looks really good. Oh, that looks so good. Oh. oh, okay, that looks good. How good does this salad look? Grab a spoon. Grab a spoon. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Wow, that's really good. Wow. Mexican every week from now on. I love the pickled red onions. It adds that little bit of like zing to it. And then the corn is sweet, coriander, tastes refreshing. Oh, it's such a good combination. But is it healthy? It's corn. Co it's, it's corn. corn. It's a salad. It's, it's healthy. Vegetables. Mm. Mm. It was definitely worth losing that dance battle because this tastes so good. Actually, we needed our, we needed that third member to win. Where were you? Where were you when the corn challenged us? <laughs> He's like, no idea what, what we're talking about. You'll rewatch it and understand. We're rating this hands down. It's double thumbs up. Yeah, this is so good. One of my favorite salads. Here's another popular corn dish. You guys are gonna wanna make this Mexican street corn dip all summer long. It is so good. So you wanna saute an onion with a little corn and garlic, salt and pepper, of course. Then mix the seasonings with some chili powder, paprika, cayenne, add a little corn, add a little cream cheese, a little bit of sour cream so it's super creamy. Then you want to brown a little bit of butter, stir those seasonings into the brown butter so you have like a spicy butter. Serve the corn up in a bowl topped with mayo, grilled corn, and then a little bit of that spicy butter, Tons of crumbled cheese and cilantro on top. Chips on the side for dipping, of course, it is so delicious. I am a big fan of street food, so this one I have high hopes for. In a pan, I'm going to add in some diced onions, corn, garlic. Oh my God, there's garlic in this recipe. Add in some garlic. Season with salt and pepper. Then I'm gonna add in my spices. We've got chili powder, paprika, and cayenne. And then I'm gonna add in some cream cheese and sour cream. Now let's make the brown butter sauce. I think she added the same spices that went into the corn into the butter to make it that spicy butter. Smooth like butter. Are you hungry? Oh, sorry. Okay, so here's our corn. I think it's 
a lot less creamier than hers but it's okay it's okay we've got cream we've got the corn let's put on some coriander i mean cilantro place on some grilled corn Honestly, ours just kind of all fell apart when we cut it. There was only one chunk that stayed together. Let's freestyle this presentation. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Art. Drizzle on some spicy butter. This looks very red. Yeah. Why does ours look almost like black? Ooh. Oh, okay. Just cover up our mistakes with some cheese and we're good. What was <gasps> the point of making that cilantro line then? Oh. Zen, I feel like you dress for the occasion. Like you're green. Yeah, I like... purposely wore green because <laughs> we're doing Mexican food today. <laughs> Together, we're this corn dish. Oh my god, we are! Totally coordinated. I'm the cilantro to your corn. <laughs> Let's try. Cheers. Oh, mmm. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. It tastes so good. Like, yeah. Like the more I bite, the more layers of flavor I'm getting. Like I'm getting cheese, I'm getting butter, I'm getting like the creaminess. Cream. Right? Yeah. I oh feel like it's a very complex dip that we've made, right? Wow. It's really good though. Let's just have another one. Mm. Wow. I feel like we have outdone ourselves. <laughs> it tastes like really filling, like really hearty. Okay, guys, if you had to choose this or the corn salad. Don't make me choose. I know. Don't make me choose. I think this has never been done before. Two, Two hands, hands down. down. It's a double thumbs up. Oh my gosh, are we on a roll today, guys? Is it the corn? <gasps> like, Is it the corn? Literally two corn dishes. Exceeded our expectations. Yeah. Now, we can't do a Mexican episode without making tacos. There's nothing like some authentic Mexican street tacos. To a large bowl, you're going to add six chicken thighs and season with some salt, black pepper, smoked paprika, parsley flakes, cumin, chili powder, and some chipotle pepper sauce. You're also going to add the juice of one lime and the juice of half an orange. Next, you're going to add in five crushed garlic cloves and half an onion that has been sliced, and then a handful of cilantro and a drizzle of olive oil and mix it all together. Let the flavors marinate in the fridge overnight or at least an hour. For the green salsa, I just fry some jalapenos, onion, and garlic until roasted just like this, and then I blend it with some cilantro and one avocado, some water, and some salt to taste, and then just blend until creamy and smooth. Just add enough water to blend, and this is how the consistency should be, not too thick or not too watery. Now to cook the chicken thighs, I just fry them on each side for 7 minutes until they have grill marks and the inside is fully cooked. Let the chicken rest for 10 minutes and then you're going to chop it up into small pieces just like this. In the same pan that I cooked the chicken in, I fry the tortillas and then I prepare my toppings. For the toppings, I thinly sliced half an onion and I fried until caramelized. For the other half of the onion, I finely chopped it into small pieces as well as the cilantro. Top the tortillas with a spoonful of the delicious flavorful chicken, the onion and cilantro, the salsa, and a squeeze of lime and enjoy! Are you guys ready to taco about it? I had to. I just had to. This is the first time I'm making tacos without the store-bought taco kit. I'm excited for this. First, we need to marinate our chicken. I've got my chicken thighs here. Are you a hard shell or a soft shell taco girl? <sighs> I think I like soft tacos. Same. Yeah. I feel like you could fit more. And like with the hard shells, when you bite into it, everything just falls apart. With the soft shell, you can maneuver that. And the sauce soaks into the... Oh, wow. And then like the sauce drips down your hand after you take a bite. You're like... You're Okay, we need to make this ASAP. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna season it with some salt, black pepper, paprika, hit it with some parsley flakes, in goes some cumin, and chili powder. Okay, disclaimer, I don't have that chipotle pepper sauce, but I just DIY'd it. I found a recipe online. I'm gonna add in a juice of one lime and squeeze half an orange in this. That's a hot orange. This is working out in 2024. Please excuse all the noises that you hear in the background. Everyone's getting stuff done today. It's a new year and everyone's like renovating or something. And then five crushed garlic cloves, half a sliced onion, and then a handful of cilantro, aka coriander. Oh, I feel like I need a bigger bowl, guys. Drizzle on some olive oil, mix it with my chopstick. Okay, I definitely needed a bigger bowl, guys. Ah, I'm gonna do that bag marinating trick. My mum taught me this. When you marinate meat, you just put it in a Ziploc bag, Ziploc it up, and massage it. Who needs slime when you've got marinated chicken thighs? Okay, we're gonna pop it in the fridge for at least one hour, but if you wanna go that extra mile and you've got time, do it overnight. I'm gonna tackle the sauce component first. So I've already grilled my onions, garlic, and green chili. Now I'm gonna blend it with some coriander. I'm also gonna add avocado. Let's hope it's a good one. <gasps> 
That's the best avocado we've seen all day. Wow. Wow. And then all we need to do is add salt and water. Chicken's been marinating for at least two hours now, so let's cook it. It smells good. Oh, realize that it's not boneless chicken thighs. <laughs> I felt some bone. Once the chicken is cooked, I'm gonna let the chicken cool now for 10 minutes and then start on my sides. So I'm gonna do the onions first and then my tortillas. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> it's tacos, Lala. Guys, do yourself a favor and make sure you write on your shopping list a boneless chicken thigh. I sent Alfred to get the chicken and it was my fault. I should have been more specific. He got boned and it was very hard for me to chop, but we got there. I think maybe we went a little bit above and beyond for our onions. They're very well cooked. <laughs> and don't come for us guys. We had to make do with some mini wraps because the only tortillas that I found were in those mission kits that we didn't want to use today. Okay, so I'm sure it'll still taste good, right? Don't come for us. Please. Why did we grill the onions if she didn't plate them with the onions? I guess it's a side. How do we assemble this? Assemble time. Let's try our tacos. Mmm. I think we could like load it up even more. The chicken, the seasoning tastes really, really good. You gotta stuff it with the chicken. The chicken tastes really good. And let's just put some of that cooked onion as well. Wow, yours is like almost gone. Okay. It's like bursting. We've loaded up our tacos even more. Oh. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. It's so much more satisfying when it's a fat bite. Mm. Whoa. Whoa! The fat one. You know what? Everything we made today, I feel like if we all combined that with this taco, it would be the best Mexican meal we've ever had, right? Our breath would be questionable afterwards. But very, very oniony. What are we rating this? Tacos. Double thumbs up. Tacos has to be a double thumbs, guys. Oh, the chicken is so well seasoned. The marinade is really delicious. Biscuit can smell it or something. Look, our little dog is begging for this. Sorry, Biscuit. We'll give you a snack later. Don't forget to thumb this video. Did you just scoff that taco down? Damn. <laughs> This is a big call, but I feel like this is one of our best episodes ever. Every dish was double chef's kiss. Definitely try these recipes out. If you guys want to see more of our TikTok recipes, click the video on screen and the queens of Kitchen Chaos will speak to you guys next time. Bye. Bye bye. Corn okay. and cilantro out. <laughs> we out. We out.